Hey, you tuned into the Keep It Real show. I'm your host, Deontay Love, and I'm sitting right here with the Rev. He's telling us all kind of great things about uh, about how you should take your life on to the next level. Don't worry about if you've been to the penitentiary. Don't worry about if you've been this place or that place or things is down on you. Uh, the Rev right here is to help help people get on to the next level in your life. Uh, take your family to the next successful place you want to be in your life. So, Rev, why don't you introduce yourself to the fans and tell them a little bit about uh, what you're doing out here to change the pace of, of what's going on. All right. My name is Chris Gibbs. I'm the associate pastor of a new fellowship missionary Baptist church up in Dayton, Ohio. Right, right, right. And also, I, w I would love you to tell the people a little bit about some of the things that you got going up there in Dayton, because Dayton's doing a real big cleanup for the youth up there as far as getting their minds right, as far as how to approach uh, the things that's going to come at you, the, the harshness that's going to come at you. And also, when you get out of the penitentiary, the harshness that's going to come for you uh, as far as people rejecting you and people looking at you a certain way when you're starting to do these things. So tell me a little bit about what you do up there and how it's become so successful. Well, what we're trying to do up in Dayton is really provide the services to help, first of all, our young people stay out of the system. We're trying to put some programs in place to teach them responsible thinking, to respect their elders, to understand what choices and consequences will affect them as they go later on in life. Our goal right now is to keep people out of the system. We're tired of hearing that we've lost a generation to the streets. Our thing is we can save a generation, we can take them back because they are our future. There is no time that we ever give up on anybody. So what we're trying to do is keep those young people from getting into the system, and then work with those who've already been into the system. We're trying to put some things in place so that first we can eliminate those barriers that people always say help people go back to prison. We're trying to make sure that they have employment, that they have their GED, that they have those support systems. And secondly, of all, we want to make sure that someone embraces them. When you talk about the church, the church is all about love. Jesus is about love. So we love everybody. There's no perfect person in this world except Jesus Christ. So I've made mistakes, you've made mistakes. So if Jesus forgave me, we can forgive you as well. That's right, that's right. Now, and there's a lot of talk out there about this uh, Generation X. The Generation X is the people, these kids are, are the kids of crack babies and things like this. And people have just turned their head towards these kids. You know, they, these are the kids that you see out there sometimes with mm -hmm. the pants hanging down, mm -hmm. sometimes with the little attitude on with the headphones. Now, these are people that need love too. Now, what do you say to somebody that just wants to push those kids out the way just to get on back? Well, see, we didn't get where we were by someone pushing us away. Someone reached out to us with love, had a helping hand, and received us. So that's what we have to do for those kids as well. They also have to open up their minds. Right. They have to respect their elders. The Bible says, uh, honor your mother and your father so that your days will be long upon this life. So we got to teach that first and foremost. And once they understand that and they respect their elders, they will, in, they will impart the wisdom that we're trying to give to them and make better choices in their life because we've been their age. They haven't been where we are in life. That's right. They haven't seen what we've seen in life. And it, the Bible also says that the young are supposed to teach their old. We can't run away from those people that we're afraid of, that look different than us, That's right. that might be a little bit loud, a little bit rough around the edges. We have to engage them and embrace them because if we won't, no one will. That's right. That's right. And that's a that's a great way to handle that question. And I want I have one more very important sure. question. Uh, I wanted to ask uh, the church as a whole. I, mm -hmm. I wanted to know how you felt about uh, how the government sort of labels these kids as uh, it's a mental illness that these children have. Well, really, it's just like a lot of love. So how do you feel about uh, how, how they're being labeled and things like that? Well, that's a, that's a two part question. You know, one, we have to first love our kids. Okay. That's right. Our kids have issues, but everything is not a mental health issue. A lot of it gets back to parenting. You know, it says, spare the rod, spoil the child. A lot of this is just teaching. We have to instill discipline into our children. If we don't instill discipline, then when they get older and someone tries to correct them, they don't know how to respond with appropriateness. They'll cuss you out. They'll be disrespectful because we didn't instill that groundwork early on in life. That's so right. That's what we have to get back to. And it doesn't matter at what point in life you are, we can always stop and teach. Right, and, and I, and I want to let everybody know the Rev saying instill discipline, but it doesn't mean smack your baby no. upside the no. head just because no. you're no. in Walmart and the little baby start grabbing stuff. It no. doesn't, it not, doesn't not mean that is not discipline because I know some parents that could look at their child and their child will straighten up. So I'm glad so. you said that. See, discipline means to teach. It doesn't mean to punish. And we confuse those two, those two words like discipline and punish. Discipline is to teach if you looked up the word. 
So That's our right. job is to teach our kids the appropriate way to act. So stop. So you heard it right here from the from the rev. Stop whopping your kids upside the head. You know, you know you want to. A lot of times you parents is right there, and I, I, you know, I've been down that same road, and I've learned a little bit. That's why I'm able to speak on it. I'm not just a person out there telling you don't do this and don't do that. It's something that I've learned from. It's something that I've seen. It's a, it's an embarrassment when you take your child and you and you're punching on them and doing all this, screaming at them in the store. It's an embarrassment to that child. That child starts to develop uh, all kinds of all kinds of little mental things because they're afraid that you're about to whop them in front of everybody and just ruin everything that they got going on. It's, this goes all the way into uh, high school and things like that, man. So you parents, go ahead and try to teach a, little, a different way, show love a different way like the Rev saying, and let's try to keep our kids out of whatever mess that a lot of that's already set up for them. And, and start early. Don't wait till they're five, six years old. You got to start young. That's right. And, and you got to show the way because our kids are a reflection of us. That's so right. if we're clowning, then expect them to clown. If we're appropriate, then we can expect them to be appropriate as well. We are the biggest role models for our children. And once parents understand that, maybe they'll change their behaviors as well. That's right, that's right. And we right here with the Keep It Real show. We right here with Reverend Gibbs. I wish everybody would be able to get up to date. Uh, if you, if, can you give out the uh, address to your church in case somebody wanted to drive up? I heard, like the nice things that you're talking about. Can you give the address of your church so people can come up and check it out? We're up on the corner of Riverview and Salem. If you come up and check us out, our services are Sunday from 11 to about 1. We don't stay in long. We give the word and we give meat. It's about giving people what they need to grow spiritually so that they can go out here and live. There's all kind of hell in our lives, and we're not giving that in our church. We're teaching you how to stand up to it, put on the full armor of God, and live life the way God enjoys it. Right, right. That's perfect, Rev, and I don't think nobody could put it any better. Put on that armor before you hit the street. Uh, keep your faith popping, man. And it's the Keep It Real show, and we'll be right back after this video. That's perfect, Rev. Okay, man. Appreciate it. All right.